Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements Add Image to Layer video, I'll be showing you my favorite technique to bring two images together to create a new composite image as I have right here. And the first thing I'll do is let's just close that out of the way. There we go. And here's our original background image. Now I want to get rid of the girl here, and that's going to be working or changing this photo. So let's make a duplicate of our background layer. Right click where it says background, and then choose duplicate layer. Choose OK. There we go. You can now hide that background. That's just a safety in case things get messed up. We can always come back to that background layer. All right, let's now zoom in on this person that we want to remove from our photo. That's pretty good. And for this, I'll use the lasso tool here. Make sure you're on the right layer. That looks good. And let's just do kind of a loose lasso right around this person. Don't get in too close to them. Just kind of outside like that. And go clear around and then back to the start. There we are. And then go up here to the edit menu come down to fill selection make sure it's set for content aware and blend mode normal choose ok and there we go photoshop elements takes care of that for us and then deselect we can now zoom back out to fit screen and that's good let's now bring in our image into a new layer here that's easy to do go to file i like using the place command you'll need to navigate to where your photo is mine's right there choose place and it brings in that photo and the nice thing about the place command is if you resize the image in here, Photoshop Elements, since this comes in as a smart layer, smart object, goes back and refigures this from the original image so it retains as much quality as possible. Now resize this correctly, hold the shift key down, grab one of the corners, and you can then pull that out. The reason for the shift key is that that pulls it proportional. Let's get this so it's just about right. I think right by here looks pretty good. I want them just a bit over here towards the right hand side. Kind of about like that, a bit of space above the top. The beak is just a bit in front of the middle. So somewhere in here looks good. Hit that green check mark. There we go. Now I need to make a selection around this eagle's head. I want to remove that background. And my favorite technique is to use a layer mask. And for that, let's go back to that lasso tool again. And I'll just come in here and I'll make a little lasso fairly close to the image, but not really up against it. So we have a little bit of space in there, but come in fairly tight. And you come right around here. You can go outside for the bottom area like that. And then back in the image. And again, fairly tight but not touching your image. And just work your way clear around. There we go. Around over to here and go back to your beginning point. There it is. Let's now use the Refine Edge right here, Refine Edge tool. I usually have mine set for overlay. This is kind of a red color. It's just easy to see. You have several options in here, as you can see, marching ants on black, on white, black and white, and so forth. I just happen to like the overlay look. Let's set our smart radius here. I'll set the radius at just one pixel. This just helps just a little bit. Leave everything else alone. And then there's that brush size. I like mine fairly close to the size of that gap in there. Just a little bit bigger than the gap. That's fine. Now, if it's too large up here, come in and just paint it right along that edge and then come in just go a little bit further and work your way in and i followed that same technique clear around the whole image so a little bit further out and then in and this makes a real nice clean mask for you what's happening here is you go over the area and you're telling photoshop elements to go back in and re-examine that area and try to make the best possible selection that it can and it does a great job with this refine edge tool as you can see, it's actually very fast, too. It's a quick technique. Then the more separation you have between your foreground and your background, the easier this is going to be. This particular image had the bird basically on a black background. It's just really dark background, actually. There's kind of some out-of-focus foliage back there. But for all intents and purposes, it was a black background, and it's a white bird making it very easy. This will work with any kind of a background, but the more separation you have, the better the results will be. If you notice right down here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. We have a little bit of that red showing through here, so we lost our mask right here. So for that, let's switch over here. This is the Erase tool. And come in just paint right into that area, and that sets it back to the regular image. And back to our paintbrush. I just want to catch just a little bit right down on that edge. And let's just double check that. There we go. And I think that's pretty good. Okay. Go back to our zoom tool, hit that fit on screen, and that's all now set. The next thing you want to do is come down here where it says output and output to, and then change this to new layer with layer mask and OK. And there we go. 
there's our nice blend. Now sometimes you'll have to come back in here and play around with your values, but I think this matches nicely. And see this is kind of a line up there. That's just showing you the edge of the original photo. If you don't want to see that, just come down here to the background layer and that's then hidden. So there we go. That's how to add an image into a layer here inside of Photoshop Elements and then my favorite technique for removing the background to merge those two photos together. Now, if you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that in the description and I'll see you next time.